hello everybody in this video i'm going to show you how to improve the viscosity of your emotion okay in this video i'm going to show you two different emotion okay these are two different creams with different ingredients here is one emotion okay and here is another emotion as you can see these two creams have different stability okay viscosity i may even go to be go a bit uh, let me bring another uh, let me bring another i'm going to show you another cream so these three different cream have different viscosity if you look very well okay this looks more stable it looks more thick and more together compared to this that looks a bit irony even though both of them are they all look almost alike but this looks more acceptable in the long run this is going to be more stable okay so it's very good for your people it's going to be able to adapt to different weather conditions so the stability of any of these will defer how long it's going to last so this one is a bit runny but if you look at this very well this looks more thick and more stable so if you want to boost the viscosity of your emotion here is what you do the first thing you want to do is you add gum in the water phase of your emotion okay make sure in the water phase of your formulation make sure you add gum the most popular gum we use in cosmetic formulation is xanthan gum so make sure you add your gum at the rate of 0.2 percent okay so make sure you had gum and try and um, if you're using xanthan gum make sure you mix your xanthan gum with glycerin at minimum 0.2 percent even if you want to go a bit further you can use it at 0.3 percent but mostly when make when i was making this cream i used my xanthan gum at 0.2 percent it's very 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 useful and also so that is okay for the water phase in the whole phase of your formulation okay make sure you include a ball tab it, depending on what you are making if you're making a cream make sure you include a butter like uh, mango butter shea butter and so on make sure you include that in the oil phase but it is very very important that you include a gum okay in the water phase of your formulation at minimum of uh, 0.2 percent when you're using zentan gum if you're using other gum make sure you follow the manufacturer instruction okay mix your gum first with glycerin or any other emectant you are using if you're using propanidio 1,3 you can you can mix it with that also that's the first step second step in the high phase of your formulation okay make sure you include butter if you're making lotion for instance you can include butter at three uh, percent or even two percent some of you don't know that you can add butter to your lotion yes you can but make sure you don't add in more than three percent between two and three percent is one to three percent is okay so make sure you have a little bit of butter butter has the power to a bit to add body to your emotion so also very very important my last point here is to make sure you use emulsifier blend okay I'm going to explain this to you. A lot of people do make emotion using only one emulsifier. That is a very, very wrong step to take. If you want to have a stable lotion or stable emotion, lotion cream, make sure you combine two emulsifiers together. In my case, anytime I use uh, emulsifying wax, oh, just uh, wait a minute. I'm going to announce to you a very, very good natural emulsifier that's coming up is a good complement for natural wax 2 by pure blend natural so i'm going to announce that is in the clinical is undergoing clinical trial right now i will announce it uh, shortly that really helps to build the uh, the stability of your emotion but before then if you're using emulsifying wax okay I don't use regular emulsifying wax. I go for the emulsifying wax NF. It's really help. There's always a difference. Make sure you use your emulsifying wax. If you are making lotion, use it between three to five percent. Okay. There you can come and add 
a core emulsifier a core emulsifier is what helps to build the body of your of your emotion emotion is either your lotion your cream anything that's uh, that forms an emotion so make sure you use let's say i want to make a lotion now for instance i'm going to use my emulsifying wax between three to five percent then i'm going to add natural this is what i use a lot as my co this is my core emulsifier of choice look in the description box below for where you can get your own it's by pure blend natural so i'm going to use my core emulsifier between two and three percent okay so when i use this at five percent for lotion i'm use my core emulsifier natural works two at three percent that is going to really help stabilize my emotion it makes it thick strong and able to withstand and so if you if you're selling your lotion to the united arab emirates where it's hot your lotion is stable if you're selling it here in, the, in north america where it's cold like for example in canada it's stable so it's stable at different temperature okay and different weather condition that's why it's very important you build stable lotion a lot of people will buy cream online before they know it, the cream has separated it's because the cream is not stable so this video is very important for every cosmetic formulator even if you are not making any to sell now if you are just making it for yourself this is very important so add your emulsifier okay i'm at a core emulsifier most supplier we have uh, use it instruction for both emulsifier and core emulsifier and that's why i recommend pureblendnatural.com for all your cosmetic raw material this is owned by cosmetic formulators so they explain to you how to use all, almost all ingredients so in this one i use three to five percent for lotion and i use this at three percent for lotion if i want to make cream i'm going to use my emulsifying wax at most of the time i use it at uh, six percent sometimes even more or even minimum five percent then i'm going to come to my natural wax too a good core emulsifier and i use it uh, between two and four percent mostly i use it uh, when i'm making my cream i use it at four percent so i know that it's going to build the body of my emotions basically you're going to just so open it measure it okay just make sure you measure it take the amount of this that you want then of your this one is uh, emulsifying wax then you go for your co emulsifier highly recommended co emulsifier for all skincare products this is very good then you take it you're going to add the uh any the percentage i told you about it's also available at uh, the detail of how to use it is available at uh, pure blend natural and that's it then make sure you had the rest of your oil and so on and so forth that before you melt it and make it it's going to really help to build the stability of your lotion so give it a try make sure you don't just make a lotion by only using emulsifying wax or even polar wax so no make sure you had a twin sister to it that's going to work together okay to build a very powerful strong and viscous well together emotion and this is going to help you pass clinical trial okay that is about it for this video. if you have any question about building the viscosity of your lotion drop a message in the drop a comment in the comment box below and i will do my best to answer you this is our, our channel for you if you want to learn how to make great and stable skincare so click that subscribe button and the notification icon to be notified when i upload my next video thanks for watching